ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. I feel like an idiot sandwich myself right now. Fuck you. This wasn't about you. This is about us. I can I. I'm going to start counting the bong hits you guys take. I, well, I didn't smoke till like uh, I got oh, back. Shut and... up with all that. Nobody believes you, Greg. I'm, why would I lie? I don't get nothing to lie, dude. Oh, you didn't wake and bake. What's that? You didn't wake and bake. No, I never wake and bake. That destroys my day. I wake up super fucking early, dude. I wake up at like six no. o'clock in the morning. I don't fucking smoke do, in the morning. Doing like twenty bong hits throughout the day destroys your day. Yeah, I don't do twenty bong hits out today. That's a myth. Greg, this is actually an intervention. We're not here to do a <laughs> podcast at all. <laughs> That's great. No, no. He's actually staying up later now. Yeah. Wow. I'm pacing myself. Um, <laughs> I, Dude, I smoke like maybe a bowl or two bowls a day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Facts. Lies. I mean, I could. You smoke more than that when we're doing this fucking podcast. Bullshit. I take like one hit, if that, during the podcast. I got to stay sharp on my toes. I feel like you're make you're gonna make me make like a like a mixtape of all the bong hits I've heard. You I was just gonna say I have. I'm gonna start counting the bong <laughs> hits you guys take. <laughs> I just did that one because you fucking you, know, <laughs> you, you egged me on a little bit. <laughs> That was a that was a spite hit right there. <laughs> it was a spite hit. But honestly, I don't I don't really smoke often during the show. Um, I maybe once or twice if someone goes and takes a pee pee. I'm a I'm a professional. That shit doesn't phase me. <laughs> you used to put you to bed before nine. It used to, but I'm also jacked up on coffee. You gotta find that perfect balance. And I I so I do have a I was telling Ryan I have a job interview tomorrow. An actual job interview. I was supposed to like do some trim trim stuff, but it didn't work out, so I haven't been working. Maybe when he said, "Are you ready to start today?" You should have started that day instead of waiting two weeks. Actually, so I got this number, and I called it like within like fifteen minutes, and the girl's like, "Whoa, I didn't expect you." That. She's like, "Yeah, we're gonna have stuff ready in like a couple of weeks," and then I called, I texted her back, and she never responded. So yeah, see, because you were too forward, you were too forward with well, her. You, I was. You told. didn't wait. You didn't wait two days to text her. <laughs> but I didn't know. I thought the work was there and available. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be a go hard because I wanted the work, and I still do. It was a red flag. You sent a red flag, and she just backed off. <laughs> I came on too strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, tomorrow I have an interview. Uh, they might want to be just using me for my one wheel, though. They also are like, bring your one wheel. <laughs> I was like, okay. Is this an interview or just a one wheel session? Strange request for an interview. Yeah, I, I know. Greg, real quick. Greg, real quick. I'm going to throw this out there. Job interview. Actual pants, not sweatpants. <laughs> hey, we've been talking about that on the PlayStation Network party uh, called You Gonna Join That Party. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my skinny jeans tomorrow. Oh, so- God. See, that's see. I think they better be stretchy. They are stretchy. I've played gigs in these. Uh, pants. You have you have a legitimate reason to wear your sweatpants now because they want to sh- you, they want you to show off the one wheel. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm going to bring a change of sweatpants. Bring them. Be like, I got to change when I show you the one wheel. <laughs> I'm actually just going to rip my pants off and there's going to be sweatpants underneath. <laughs> call, call your contact on the way in. Be like. Hey, are we going to do the interview first or the one-wheel part? Because I just need to know what kind of pants I'm wearing. <laughs> That's a good call. You know what? That actually already crossed my mind. And I really was going to be like... <laughs> oh, I know. I was going to send him or John a message and be like, Hey, um, what should I wear for pants? Because we are one-wheeling. And is this like a legit interview? Or like, what's going on? Oh, my to- goodness. But I was like, you know what? I'll just wear pants, professional. I could one-wheel in these pants if I had to. Are they skinny jeans with an elastic waist? Um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, I, I tried them on today because I want to be like, you know, I've definitely been eating ice. Well, meaning they don't even have, like, belt loops? They're just... No, they got belt loops, but I don't need a belt. <laughs> Congratulations. I, ne- <laughs> I never needed a belt with these things because my legs are so thick, they're holding them up. 
He does. He's got the. He's got those running back calves. That's right. I, I used to walk on my toes when I was younger, and that's how I got those strong calves. So, huh. podcasters niece, and kids out there, you know, walk on your toes. My niece still does that, and she's just clumsy as hell, and she just still goes on her tippy toes. I'm wondering if she's just gonna always be like that her whole life. Just be. Will you wait till she's a start and running back for the New England Patriots? <laughs> Or an assassin. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows what the future is going to bring to the NFL? Cracking people out with their cast. <laughs> what up, everybody? Welcome to the You Gonna Eat That Crust podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Wilson. And with me today, my co-host, Seamus. Seamus, how's things? Things are good. I mean, we were just talking, so we know, <laughs> we know things are going well. Well, I was going to edit out your guys' parts and just keep mine, so... <laughs> <laughs> the audience wouldn't know that things are well with you. Uh, well, I mean, I was lying to the audience. Things, you know, may not be well if we're talking to you and I. I'm just kidding. Things are well. Great. Great. And uh, to my left, to my right, to my perpendicular, the co-host with the most, Greg Hoey. Greg, what's new in your life? Oh, you know, just living that main life. I mowed the lawn today. Uh, I was just hoping you would elaborate, yeah. Mow the lawn today. <laughs> Mow the lawn today. You know, took care of some dogs. And uh, like I said, I got a job interview tomorrow lined up. Made life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is uh, guilty pleasures. Now, Wikipedia defines a guilty pleasure as something such as a film, a television program, or a piece of music that one enjoys despite understanding that it is not generally held in high regard or is seen as unusual or weird. See... This changes everything. I didn't look at the definition, so I hope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> well, great, Seamus, since you're so funny. Uh, why don't you tell us uh, your guilty pleasure first, my friend? Uh, naps, for sure. Slipping in. Like, I hardly ever get to do either. So, yeah, I love it. I feel like I feel like this the days are so short. I feel guilty like if I'm hung over on a day, that sucks cuz I feel like I waste the day if I sleep in and naps, I mean, like there's always so much to do. It's a busy busy life, busy world. Yeah, I too. I'm not much of a napper. When I do nap, it's great and I feel refreshed obviously, but I can't really sleep during the day. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm wasting the day with a nap. Uh, yeah, well, for me, when I nap, uh, I just turn into like a grumpy piece of shit when I wake up. So it's best for me to avoid naps at all costs. So you're like a child. Yeah, I get I get a little fussy after, all right? <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, your brain's not really, you know, up and you need to I mean, I, I, get, I mean, I get that because I, I don't take naps, but I do. Like, I also don't have to deal with anybody, you know, if I wake up from a nap. I don't have to interact with children that are hungry or need anything. Mm-hmm. Well, be that as it may. Uh, I guess my guilty pleasure segues right into that. It's uh, staying up too late. I uh, My whole, you know, days are go, 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 go. So that the, uh, you know, the end of the day, I feel like I really got to push it to make sure I'm not just working and and parenting constantly, so that's usually All when right. I do my hanging out and kicking it and whatnot, and I uh, definitely it's not healthy, I'm sure. I only sleep four or five hours a night on most nights, but... Oh, how do you do it, man? Well, I don't know. Well, it's not healthy not to have that free time either, if you no. don't, like, you know, unwind or do... And you're just a slave to society. Oh, of course, man. Like, I, I miss the days when I used to stay up late. I love to stay up late. Now I just... I can't even make it. I fall asleep. It's a goal for sure. I try. I try all the time too. Like on the weekends, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stay up tonight. I'm gonna hang out with the boys. Maybe play at the PlayStation until like midnight, one o'clock, and then like nine thirty. I'm like, all right, ten thirty rolls around. Like I'm gonna watch a movie yeah. and fucking pass out. Yeah, I think uh, you know, being a teenager in PlayStation One definitely uh, didn't help this growing up. Like. I was like, why would I go to bed when I could just get high and play Final Fantasy VII a little bit longer? And then I go to school off of like two, three hours sleep, and I'd hear comments from the teachers like, you know, Ryan, I know you could pass this class. 
if you just stayed awake. And uh, <laughs> I guess so, I, you know, I can see the detrimental effects, but also, you know, I got to have a balance. I definitely used to fall asleep in class, too. Hey, so did you play Final Fantasy VII the remake? I did. And I beat it's it. Pretty, and I loved it's it. Pretty, it's pretty badass. I just, it's tough for me. I want to play it over. Like, I just started it. And I'm like, wow, this is cool. Real combat. They, like, fully re- redid the game. Yeah. But it's also a lot of commitment. Yeah, I think I beat it in, like, 70 hours, which is... 70? Yeah, I don't have that concept. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I I mean, I put almost, like, 200 into The Witcher, so... 70, jeez. Witcher! <laughs> yeah, so, Greg, I guess that brings us to you. Uh, what is your guilty pleasure? Well, I did try on my pants today because I've been eating ice cream, like, every night <laughs> <laughs> lately. And I guess uh, it's just ice cream. Ice cream is... A big guilty pleasure because I hadn't eaten it for a while because it fucked with my stomach and it, you know it was like the I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant but lack you know lactose just fucks with my shit literally. See, um, I, I get that because like I could eat pizza like that. Obviously, pizza's a guilty pleasure for everybody unless you're fucking weird. But uh, <laughs> you know when you weird. you can have and you want ice cream, ice cream, I could just eat pizza all the time, but I feel guilty, so I don't. And it probably yeah. wouldn't help my survivability. Yeah, it's... I So, I've taken two nights off of ice cream? You know, I'm not, like, friggin', you know... So you... Have, you like, got me back in... You got me... I mean, I like ice cream, because ice cream is on my list as well. Obviously, snacks in general. Um, yeah. But ice cream, and yeah, especially... And every night, you know, hearing you when I'm when we're gaming on PlayStation, and you're like, "Oh God, I'll be back, guys! I'm going for an ice cream bake," and I'm just like sitting there, like, "Damn, he's making me want ice cream." <laughs> so I've been buying. So I started buying at the grocery store lately, and I was, I was going like two gallons a week, two three gallons or half gallon, whatever. whatever yeah. Not eating them, but I was buying them. I started like accumulating in my freezer. And I just started eating ice cream every night. And then I started eating ice cream two times a day. And I was like, all right, I'm not buying ice cream this week. <laughs> you know? So I had to stop buying ice cream. Yeah, well, I think, I think late night yeah. snacking is a guilty pleasure for most people. I mean, yeah, uh, well, especially if I'm on Snoochies, man. I'm, I can't stop eating it, it got to a point where I'm like, I'm I'm taking a break, or I would like go AFK uh, off the mic, and like people would come back and not know where I was, and I'd come back and be like, oh, you have ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> like, it like got to that point, so I was like, all right, no, I gotta, I gotta yeah, so it's like it's Dunkin' Donuts when they recognize his name. Yeah, it's like BLT no mayonnaise. So like, oh, yeah, uh, shit. I don't I don't really do sweets all that much, so I guess I feel all right with that, but. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but I could do the same thing with a turkey dinner if I, if it wasn't so hard to make. If, if I have a, a gourmet turkey dinner in 30 seconds, I'd probably eat that every day, too. Fucking Wonka vision. <laughs> you turn into a goddamn gremlin. Well, that's only if you eat them. All right, after midnight. Right. Or water. Don't get water on yourself. Fucking Look, mogwai shit. Isn't hydration important? No, you just don't want to get it on your skin. You can get it inside of you. And after midnight, which I don't know how the time works in that movie, because it's always after a point. So what? What? When's the cusp when they're allowed to feed again? After midnight. How long after midnight can <laughs> Mogwai's feed again? They just never eat yeah. ever. Just don't fucking feed. Them they need to be more all. specific. Don't feed the Mogwai between twelve and six a.m. I mean. The rule is very uh, ambiguous. And... Yeah, it's a, it's a loose and fast rule. Uh, if if they change time zones after eating, does that still count? Yeah. Well, what about daylight savings? If time? you're driving, does it does it recognize it like an eye walk? If iPhone? you're driving, if you stop the Taco Bell on the border of uh, uh, Arizona, I don't know. You drive into. I don't know geography. Anyways, if you're going that towards the the western side of the country, then it's okay. The Magwai will be fine. But if you're going east, if you're going east, then hmm, travel with danger. 
I just I didn't know we were gonna get this deep on this episode. Don't travel with Mogwise. <laughs> yeah, especially in a plane, man. Like, what the hell happens there? You I don't know. Gremlins but on I a think plane it should be a movie with Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't think Samuel L. Jackson gets enough work, so that would be good for him. I think. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough with these motherfucking gremlins on this motherfucking plane. <laughs> All right, uh, Seamus, that brings us back to you. Uh, do you have another guilty pleasure you'd like to admit to the audience? Binge watching TV series for sure. Sure, sure. You know, I just don't want to do anything that day, and I can get a bunch of episodes in. Mm-hmm. Also, the OC. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, I don't know how old I was when that show came out, but I didn't tell anybody I watched it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let this now. You don't seem like an OC kind of right? guy. I didn't like that to I'm like any of that shit. Like, well, if you like the OC, you might like that to Check it out. Donna Martin graduates. All right, I guess I can. Uh, I guess I can admit this to you guys. Then, uh, not only do I binge watch TV, but I binge watch real shitty TV. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, so look, it's hard to find like something I actually want to watch when the kids are still awake. So uh, I end up watching fucking shows like... I, are they awake now? Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> so I end up watching shows like 90 Day Fiance, Sister oh, Orders, oh God. I mean... I don't mind I bump, that. I, I, you know, it's like, it's not something I would like, I must watch this, but it's like, all right, well, it's a weekend and it's rainy. Let's watch like three seasons of fucking Sister Wives. <laughs> Bro, then you should be checking out Hell's Kitchen, man. I've Come seen on. Hell's Kitchen, Greg. It's Seamus who is unaware of Gordon Ramsay's existence. I know, but are you caught up with all the goddamn no, seasons? Why would he feel the need watch? to catch up with every fucking 20 seasons of a cooking show? It's you- not like the story continues. <laughs> It's a good show, and it's just okay. good drama. A good he doesn't need eight hundred episodes As a of this douchebag. He's he's a co- he's not a douchebag. He changed lives. That's what he does. He reaches inside. He finds the chef, but he also finds the person. <laughs> God. The goodness in you. It's true. I, you, it's don't think they, you don't think they peaked the idiot sandwich? I feel like they peaked there. What? You've never seen that. Where he slaps what? the girl in the face with two pieces of bread and calls her an idiot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that was that, that was probably fucking um um like no, kitchen nightmares or something like that. Then maybe I don't remember. I've seen like I've seen nineteen <laughs> seasons of Hell's Kitchen, so I don't, I don't remember the idiot sandwich. I feel like an idiot sandwich myself right now. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I, I watch, I watch Chopped and shit like that and Hell's Kitchen and uh, Kitchen Nightmares, but sometimes like there's Russell. no way you watch Hell's Kitchen if you didn't get my fucking impression. Your no impression way. Is trash, all right? <laughs> so I watch shows like that, but maybe once in a while I'll bang out like, I don't know, two seasons of Jersey Shore. I don't know. I mean, uh, what? Look, I, you know what? I think you guys, I think people think I'm cooler than I actually am. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a loser just like everybody else. Bro, I got shows if you need them, man. I got shows you can watch. Hey. <laughs> I got some recommendations. Thanks, bro. Thanks. So many good shows <laughs> over Jersey Shore. I mean, unless it's yeah. uncensored Jersey Shore, I guess there might be some fun shit going on. But... I'm not I'm not proud of it. It just happened. It was like when I fucking was watching the Real World Road Rules Challenge, and I wouldn't tell you. Like, you knew I was watching a show on Monday at, like, 8 o'clock every night, but I wouldn't tell you what it was because I was so embarrassed about yeah. it. And here I am, admitting stuff. it to the millions and millions of Wilsomaniacs out there listening live <laughs> right now. <laughs> you uh, you hey, crushed me. I started with the OC. I didn't know you were going to break down into a tearjerker of how pathetic your life was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's that, I guess. <laughs> uh, Greg, what you got, baby? I have um, dumb comedies. Like, I really love dumb, like dumb, dumb and like bad comedies. Uh, no, like A uh, Million Ways to Die in the West. Like, shit like that that's, like, you know, people think is horrible. You're going like, to have to give like, walk hard. me and the audience another one because we don't need Yeah, Walk Hard's great. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? Like, 
Yeah, yeah, but walk people hard. don't think walk hard is great. Like most people think walk hard is fucking terrible, and they can't make it through the past that dude getting cut in half at the beginning. Like they're like, what the fuck are we well, watching? Like I'm talking about maybe comedies like that, like stupid comedies. Killed a child in within five minutes of the opening scene. Exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. They went a little too. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I mean, thought the movie was great, and I thought that scene was hilarious. I'm sorry, it was fictional, so I could laugh. Like most people like Anchorman, but like I'm talking about like movies like Anchorman, but like, dude, I I I have a very low bar for comedy. Like some of my favorite movies are like Hot Shots Part One and Do. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, exactly. I, like that, I, that I love the shit. scary movie movies. Uh, Scary movie four when like the guy's <laughs> guy's wife gets hit by a car and he's like your wife's been split in half. He's like you have you have a couple minutes with the top half. He's like what about the bottom half? Can I squeeze in a few <laughs> minutes with that too? <laughs> yeah, it's Charlie Sheen and yeah, Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> I don't know. I like I love stupid yeah. shit like that too. I love off the wall fucking. Uh, you know I don't need a. You know what I hate dramedies. I I do I. I do like dumb comedies if they're done right. You know, if they're funny, if you can just get, if you can get on the fact that they're dumb and they're not trying to do it serious, you know. Yeah. Michael Scott is a walking dumb comedy. That's why I need to get on the office. Yeah, but that's he is just the dumbest kind of bugger. Because it's not a dumb comedy. He's just a dumb character. Yeah, it's a good character. Yeah. Yeah, I said he was a walking (laughs) dumb comedy. That's why he's just. But yeah, but the plot, everything that goes on in the show is somewhat plausible. I assume it's just, you know, as opposed to a dumb comedy where anything can happen and it just flies. Anything can fly, you can still make it kind of like curb kind. Of anything flies, but they make it kind of like yeah. I guess I mean that that could be a considered a dumb comedy, but it's super smart because LD's the man, and I will shed tears when he dies. Please don't die, Larry. Don't die. Well, I guess that. Uh... That brings us to uh, Seamus, I want to say. Seamus. Okay. Surely um, you have something that's racking your mind that you want to get off yeah. your chest. I guess being selfish and skipping Sunday lunch with like my parents when they asked me to come over. And I just want to stay in bed or stay in the house in my PJs all day and be lazy. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with being selfish about your time, Seamus. You know, sometimes you got to be. And if, if that well, makes you a terrible person, so be it. You guys are terrible. I make myself available for anybody. Yeah. I'm always going out, meeting, like, you know, if my parents want me to meet up, I'm meeting with them. If anybody else wants to meet up, I'm oh, I'm never at my house. I'm never in my room. Greg, like, I haven't seen exactly you in, like, two available. years, and we live right. so close <laughs> to each other. Okay. He won't hang out and be in person anymore. It has to be... On the PlayStation. That's sweet. I like to play my PlayStation and do everything. If I could play my PlayStation and do everything at the same time. Do you ever go a day without using your PlayStation? Yeah. Bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's like you go go days without smoking pot, too, right, Greg? Well, that's a show. I could. I could do all that shit. (laughs) I just choose not to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's challenge accepted. Greg Hoey will lay off. Weed and video games for an entire <laughs> month, and just focus <laughs> for what just do I focus get? on his fingerboarding career. Um, and I think that's I, it's really I'm brave s- of you, Greg. That's really brave of you. <laughs> Speaking of my fingerboarding career, it could be over before it started. Your, that shit's your fucking hard. Or it's ACL and it's over. <laughs> well, uh, well, I broke my index finger and then I broke a nail. You broke your on my index finger, finger playing so. with little finger skateboards. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just joking. I'm being funny for the audience. <laughs> no, I tried to ollie for like an hour straight. And I was like, holy shit, this is hard. Maybe my fingers are just too strong. I have adult fingers. So I don't know. We'll go back to it. Well, you know. This is hard. Let's give up. I didn't. I told you I was at it for like an hour. That's not giving up. And I'm not giving up. I'm looking at it right now. It took me like an hour to put it together, too. It's pretty funny. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's two yeah. hours into his career. I mean... Let's use tweezers and shit. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. You had to use tweezers to put it together. Maybe that means your fingers aren't just made for a fingerboard. Yeah. You got sausage yeah. fingers or something. 
I almost, I was, I almost gave up because I was like, "What?" I was trying to put these like the nuts on uh, on the trucks, but they didn't really go in. They just uh, it was put together differently. The nuts went on the wheels. Guys, I'm looking at the fucking the old. Uh, hear that wheel spin on this? Greg, I don't know what possessed you to think the audience would want to hear fingerboarding sounds, but. God bless you. Yeah, I think they do. I think they want to see a video of me fingerboarding I think they just when I'm doing it. An audio podcast of you well, fingerboarding. Maybe you should attach a short video on the Patreon. Guess what, guys? I already did. I've been, I've been fingerboarding the whole <laughs> podcast. Oh, big man. strong fingers you have. <laughs> Thank you. I've been told that by people who've seen me fingerboard. All right. Well, um, uh, I hope this one doesn't get me in trouble, but one of my guilty pleasures is uh, reading comics while I'm taking a shit. Sometimes I'll be done with the shit for several minutes, but I just have to get to the end of the comic before I get up. And, uh, you know, I know that I'm probably needed, but I can't leave mid-comic. Oh, dude, I bought the whole Saga collection. Sorry to interject. Oh, you bought the whole Saga collection. Well, it's a good one. I haven't started and, uh, it yet, though. You should buy some toilet paper as well, and then you can, you know, uh, double duty. Um, yeah, I'm not a big dude, shit reader. You're not a big shit reader. I think I always I'm, 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 always always I'm all about the business. I'm in and out, you know, and they, you know, or maybe some porn while I'm there. You put that on like a job application? What, that I'm in and out and I'm shitting yeah, on your yeah. time and not when my I'm, own? When I'm going to shit, it's strictly business. I'm there. One wipe, out. Back to work. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to tell him I'm going to take a 20-minute shit break. That doesn't go well. Really? You, you don't think honesty process? is more important in the job interview than... I think you got to hold those things back a little bit. Oh, yeah. see, I don't. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm going to be 10 minutes late, like all the time. But I'll always so, be there, and I'll always do a better job than everybody else. So in addition to my break in the morning, afternoon break, my hour lunch, I'm going to need two 20-minute uh, shit breaks. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I may shit at work occasionally. I don't enjoy it, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Um, See, But I don't smoke cigarettes at work. Shouldn't well, smoke cigarettes Okay, well, all. that's another one of my guilty pleasures, Greg. Okay, I rifle butts, all right? I have like a 50 minute drive to work. I smoke a lot of cigarettes on the way and then I take an eight hour break, nine hour break, and then I'll smoke a bunch more and then I wake up and do it all over again. Well, smoking no is bad. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know smoking was bad. Well, I'm worried about your okay, health. Okay, well. Okay. I, I am like an acrobat at this point in my life. I don't like when any of my friends smoke cigarettes. <sighs> I don't like when my friends wear sweatpants, but they do. And New challenge. Ryan Wilson's going to quit smoking cigarettes forever. Oh, I back that <laughs> one. All right. But, you know, if I quit smoking cigarettes, I'm going to go straight to chew. I'll pack a pack, oh. pack a fat chaw. <laughs> well, if you talk like that, yeah. I've cool. Actually, I've only done that shit once, and it was in, like, eighth grade. And this kid gave it to me. And, uh... A teacher came up to me and said, please spit out your gum. And I just swallowed it, and I got violently ill afterwards. And oh, That was man. the first and only time yeah. I ever did chew. Yeah, well, you learned a lesson there. I did. You learned something there, didn't you? Yeah, like, These are the worst raisins I've ever had. <laughs> That's saying something. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, I smoke. I'm not proud of it, uh, but uh, I don't feel bad about it either, I guess. Yo lot, you know what I'm saying, guys? Yo lot. You only live one time. Oh, cool. That's a different one. I like Thanks. that. Thanks. I came up with that in 92. 92. <laughs> Old Greggy bastard. What you got? Hey. Um, well, as you guys know, and the audience probably already knows, I like to be comfortable. And uh, my guilty pleasure his jog pants <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I've been going on almost like three or four years now when I've worn pants probably like two or three times. <laughs> and uh, I mean, life is you good. Found, you okay. found your niche. I mean, you never were a jean guy anyways. You're like, 
you defied yeah. culture and said, nah, jeans aren't for me. Yeah. For these thick yeah. tree trunk thighs and, and running back calves. I can't contain them. <laughs> but now they have stretchy jeans. That's true. Greg is going to, Greg, he's putting himself in some fucking stretchy, skinny jeans tomorrow to get himself a job. All right. All right. More power to you. But you know what, Greg? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the youth of today, they're all wearing, uh, sweatpants now. So, I mean, I guess you're just in with the hip crowd. And I don't know when exactly they stopped being sweatpants. It became jog pants for a bunch of people who don't jog, but <laughs> that's, that's a thing too. When did you That's start calling them jog only, pants? Only people that wear them on the reg call them that because they want to feel better about back. it. Mm-hmm. I go back and forth. So check this out. My buddy was uh, coming by to stop by and check out the house. He's in the industry. And uh, I was like talking to my boys in the PlayStation and they were making fun of me for wearing jog pants. And I was like, you know what? This dude's going to show up at my house wearing sweet fucking jog pants. And you don't know what happened when he showed up? He had the sweet jog pants. I was like, yo, dude, like those jog pants are fucking tight. And he's like, yeah. And he looked at mine. And I was wearing my fucking sweet pair, my $60 fucking old navies. And we had like a jog pant off. It was sweet. We were just like fucking sucking each other's dicks over jog so pants. It was fucking awesome. Greg, when Greg heard he was coming over and knew that he was putting on his sweetest jog pants, he put on his best pair of jog pants. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I <laughs> I won, and that's that's not true. I hate you. I happened to I happened to uh, have those jog pants on all day, and I was like, it was a super comfortable. I can see a montage video of Greg trying on different tops with different sweatpants. <laughs> He's like, Zach's coming over. Zach's coming over, so I gotta have the, the flyest uh, jog pants on around. And I'm gonna match some Nikes. If Zach's a Lego maniac, I don't want to not have sweet fucking jog pants on in front of him, obviously. Um, yeah, of course. Like, it depends, you know? It depends what friend. If, they, if it's a friend I know, I've known for years, I'll just put on the old, uh, you know, the hairs the, I'm wearing hairs right the now. Crotch. Hair, a hole in the crotch, I mean. Nah, there's no holes in the crotch, <laughs> bro. I'm advanced now with my jog pants. Mm-hmm. I don't even have holes in my, I don't even have holes in my underwear well, anymore. <laughs> Your, your jog pants is going to bring me to my next one, which is yoga pants. Whoop, whoop. I'm sorry. I mean, not not the man bun dude in the gym wearing yoga pants, but you all know the oh. yoga pants I'm talking about. Did Thank you. Just you. Mean, did you just mean sweatpants? Do you like to wear yoga pants? I, I want to do yoga because it I, if, but I would die. I'm just like not flexible. Describe your yoga. Uh, describe your yoga pants, Seamus. I, I can't quite picture. I just what said. Is you mean? I'm not talking about dude yoga pants. Okay, I don't know what yeah. that means. All right, move on. He's got a guilty pleasure of digging on. I enjoy the opposite sex that I'm interested in when they wear hot yoga pants. Okay, well, I think that clears everything up. Seamus, I got it. Seamus wears yoga pants <laughs> and high heels, but you don't do yoga. Oh, and Greg does. No, I just like to look pretty for my interviews. You should do yoga. I bet you'd uh, do good at yoga. I know I should because I got fucking arthritis in the back. So, well, maybe a little yoga is in order then, Seamus, and a nice mineral water. It's just hard. Yoga YOLO. Not flexible and you're tight and sore all the time. Being a three-time Olympic gymnast, I don't really <laughs> know what you're saying. <laughs> I want to be like, I can't even touch my toes anymore, but you guys wouldn't even have empathy there. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm about to go fucking one wheel in skinny jeans tomorrow. Backflip right off. That was me sticking the landing. Damn, son. All right, I guess uh, yeah, one again. of my last couple here is uh, I start video games that I know I don't stand a fucking chance in ever finishing. I uh, do the same. Ah. Video games on my there too, but yeah, I do that a lot. He's in the store once yeah. a day. I, uh, you know, the Xbox Game Pass, again, Seamus, highly recommend the Game Pass. Uh, I'll just download like fucking, it's like, oh, this is like a 150 hour RPG. I'll start it, play 
fucking 33 minutes of it that never go back to it again. Uh, yeah. yeah, to have a huge catalog of just that, just all those games. Whereas I go, oh, I see the opening cinematic, I create my character, I do the first mission, and I was like, oh, that game's sweet, I'm going to get back to that. Only to know that there's <laughs> something coming out next week that I might want right. to try more that I also will never finish. And that's what I was just going to say, like, as soon as I move on to another game, I like, like it's rare that I'll go back. Well, plus, Ryan, the guy you're fucking game sharing with is a straight fucking boss. So, you know, you already got every game at your fingertips. That's pretty sweet. I do enjoy game sharing with Greg. I'm glad I got him off the Xbox ecosystem onto the PlayStation. <laughs> and I've. It is the better system. I've all the rewards. Debatable. <laughs> it's got better exclusives. It's got better games. It's got better exclusives. Well, that's why it's got the better games. So that's why I say it's a better. It's still a broken they have, online network. You gotta go through. You gotta go through th- seven screens to get to one thing that should have just been a fucking button on the first one. Yeah, well, Xbox is making all the big moves this year, and I don't know what PlayStation is gonna do to compete. Really, I mean, they Xbox owns Bethesda now, and all these crazy studios that are pumping out great games, and you know, Sony's got its like three, four flagship titles. I'm like, oh, we got God of War though. And I, yeah, but that's fucking better than anything that fucking Xbox is going to pump up. Also debatable. Nah, I don't know about that. God, if when the next God of War comes out, it's going to be like was, the fucking best a bad thing. example. It, yeah, God, that, that was a bad example. Like, that, like you say, like Event Horizon. I also said Event Horizon, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Even though I think that second will still be pretty badass, but I, I don't know. Their staples are pretty dope. I know, I know. And they got, they got, a, you know. A, Insomniac, obviously, Spider Man was exclusive, so kudos to them for that. But uh, yeah, that next Spider Man is going to be the shit. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. But uh, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about PlayStation's future. Not that I think they're going anywhere, but I don't know how many moves they got left to make at this point. Uh, Greg, what you got, baby? Coffee is my guilty pleasure that I drink way too much of in fact i need to pump the old brakes on that coffee's good for you it's a diuretic it's full of antioxidants Uh, and it goes towards your total water consumption throughout the day although it is it does dehydrate you so yes but i also imbibe on coffee all the time (laughs) and uh you know it took me a long time to to get to the place where I wanted to be with coffee. It's like I watched so many TV shows where a dude would pour a cup of coffee and rest his elbow on the counter and just start drinking it. I was like, ah, that's so much more fast and convenient than drinking creamer. And then eventually I weaned myself off creamer and sugar, and now it's just black coffee several times a day. Ugh, sounds awful. You sound awful. I'll try the sugar it up, whatever you can do to make that coffee taste good, and it still tastes like butthole. (laughs) <laughs> see i have i have like one if i go to like a dunkin donuts i'll have one cream no sugar um and if i'm at the house i'll do a little bit of cream and maybe one sugar but i don't really fuck with too much sugar and cream in my coffee i could drink it black if i want because i get the dank coffee of course and uh but i just drink too much of it i had i've had like four or five cups today i'm staring at two of the biggest size cans of coffee you can get of maxwell house and Folgers, so it gets pretty fancy over here too, Greg. Scrubs. Yeah, you know what? I'll uh, I'll hook you up next time. Next time we see each other in a couple of years. <laughs> oh, he's dissing your coffees. I oh, dude, Folgers and like that's like that's old people coffee. Bro. I feel like even though you live in Maine, the only time we might happen upon each other from now until we're dead is but driving by each other on accident. Was that? No. <laughs> um, well, I'll mail you some coffee then. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Um, you should get, I don't know what you pay for that Folgers or what you pay for that other, what did you say it was? Folgers Maxwell well? House. Maxwell House. Maxwell House. What, what do you pay for that? Do you know? I mean, we usually look for the sales and we'll get like, I don't know, a month's worth of coffee for five, six bucks. Okay. Well, for thirteen dollars, you can get like a pound of like some pretty dank coffee. A pound of coffee that would last fucking a day and a half here. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Greg, I do two pots of coffee. We do two pots of coffee before fucking ten o'clock. That's fine. And then another one. Pound, I, I can I can make like fucking twelve pots of coffee and still like have half a fucking bag, half a pound. Yeah, but left. you probably have that pussy tiny little coffee pot. No, I have a ninja. All right. <laughs> I don't fuck around with my when coffee. You, say you have a ninja. I make, do you mean you have like a personal ninja assistant that makes your coffee? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but ob- also, the brand of my uh, coffee machine is Black and Decker. Um, so the ninja makes that. No, it's ninja brand. I don't understand what. What is the benefit of the ninja brand coffee pot, Greg? Right? Uh, there's no benefit. I just uh, it's a. It makes a rich or classic, or it it it's got some, it's got good some cool art, right? so he can pay extra for it. Is it? No, it it it's it got good reviews. I checked it out. I researched it at Walmart. It was all it was like a an eighty dollar coffee uh, machine. It's not not nothing crazy, but fairly decent. Metal or metal or glass the, pot. Glass. Mm. What does that uh, mean? You, what, what's the preferable? I was just curious. Like my coffee pot, I can see it from here. You could easily fight 13, 14 barbarians with it before it even took an end. Oh, what's it, cast iron? I, <laughs> I think it's Valerian, actually. Why well, have a bong that would smash someone's head to pieces if they ever came in? Right. And I'm on. Yes. It's really heavy duty. It's like. 10 pounds. That's a heavy bong, Greg. I don't know if it's 10 pounds, but it's should, close. I'll just get a baseball the, bat. It's at least ex- less expensive and it's not going to break. True. I have a wiffle ball pat- bat that I painted brown. It looks intimidating from a distance. <laughs> but you get up close, it's pretty splotchy, actually. So, Night prowlers only. <laughs> Alright everyone, so uh, that was our, our segment on Guilty Pleasures uh, Get ready for some other shit Alright, great job with that part guys Feel like I got to know you all a little bit better Alright, mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen Now uh, prepare yourselves for a little segment we like to call Overrated, is it underrated? Overrated, is it underrated? Overrated, is it underrated? Is it somewhere in between? All right, and uh, Greg, why don't you go ahead and speak on it? All right, this is a little segment we got the over under rated here, and uh, the first one is going to be fashion. Fashion. Well, well we, we all know it's underrated or overrated to you, <laughs> Mister Jog Pants. <laughs> uh, well, I did not say that. I like to look good. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess I mean, it's probably overrated for sure. But on the flip side, well, for you, what is on it? On the flip side, no, in general. But on the flip side, I also like to wear something that fits me or that is flattering. Um, you know, COVID times, maybe not so much. Just run on a hoodie. Well, I mean, I've always been a hoodie guy, but yeah, I do like to be presentable, <laughs> but. I think overall, people put too much stock in it, so I would say overrated. Especially if you're a woman. I mean, in our society, there's a lot of pressure on you. Sure. Mr. Wilson. Well, uh, right now, I'm wearing a an Admiral Akbar shirt that says it's a trap <clears throat> and cargo shorts. So seeing how I look exactly like I did in 1999, I'm going to say <laughs> fashion is overrated for me. Um uh, I don't have much to say on it. I just wear t shirt and pants and I go about my day. I so, guess I, I guess people call it a graphic tee. Ner- nerd mm-hmm. shirts, overrated, underrated. <laughs> I like just where nerd shirts are rated. Yeah, they're rated perfectly. Perfectly rated. Yeah, because if they were if they were if they weren't underrated or they just became mainstream, then they wouldn't be special. If everybody was wearing them. Truth. You wouldn't have those cool like ones you go in like a thrift store and find, you know, an old GI Joe shirt or something like that. 
Yeah, but what brings people together? Like, you know, I I I have some like whatever 80s cartoon nostalgic shit you know you just see someone that like knows what it is and they just give you that nod like yep ninja turtles were the shit like <laughs> you already you say like nice shirt yeah, man well, you know what are you gonna do not not a, not, not uh, a thing I'm that gonna... i really uh think too much about i can tie a bow tie so you know do you need to tie bow ties don't they just come like set up no they don't come set up I mean, you can get them like that if you I like. Don't know. Fuck, but do I wear a bow tie for? Uh, I don't know. It's a pee wee. I'm experience. gonna go with uh, fashion is underrated. You sloppy motherfuckers. Okay, moving on. Uh, award shows, you know, like the Grammys, all that bullshit. I'm gonna say Ryan. overrated. I can't even tell you if I've watched a single Grammy or Oscar show ever. Seriously, me either. I could care less, and that ties in with fashion. They all like to wear their stupid dresses and shit, whatever. And the shit that goes down the runway these days is just ridiculous. It's made of 100% recycled newspaper and was $6,000. Uh, I wanted to look like uh, my th- my, uh, I was going for a potato sack in this one. <laughs> you know, I wanted that look. No, no I've never watched. I've never watched the Grammys or like the MTV Music Awards or Video Game Awards or no, anything. Not really. I mean, I guess maybe the MTV Movie Awards when I was a kid. Yeah, I think but when I was young. Who gives a shit? MTV. I can't MTV shit about accolades. Yeah. Not I a mean, thing. that's all sh- shit you can. See in the next day. Like I don't need to watch a Yankees game. I could see the score the next day. I gotta say, I kind of expected this answer, but not as aggressive. It was very aggressive. Moving on to the next question, Joe Rogan, overrated, underrated. Ah, shit, Mister Ryan Wilson, Fuck. go. My gut reaction is overrated. I do think Joe Rogan's like super smart and I do love his interviews, but he also says some stupid ass shit and he talks about vitamins way too much. Um, I don't know. I, I've dropped off. I started really liking it at first and I just kind of dropped off after a while. I don't know. I don't give a shit, I guess. Sorry. Um, I love his stand up. He does some funny fucking stand up shit. I don't listen to his podcast that much. I've always wanted to check it out. But I mean, I know Joe Rogan. I've heard him before and I've heard him talk. And I think he's kind of right where he belongs. He's he's highly rated with some people that agree with him. And he's like, you either, you either love him or hate him, especially nowadays. He's kind of like. Now I'm in the middle. I don't love him or hate him. I just think he says stupid shit sometimes. Like, All right. I should say the majority of people are either like ecstatic about him or like. Totally averse to him. Sure. Sure. Good one, Greg. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I think he's, yeah, rated where, I mean, he's probably slightly overrated, but I, th- you know, like I said, I like him as well, too. I think his podcast is great, and but I just, you know, like other podcasts better. Um, but he's, his comedy's good. He's a smart guy. I, mean, I like Joe I, mean, I can Rogan, agree but, with some of what he says, but I also disagree. So, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like Ryan, somewhere like in the he's, he's like, yeah, he's he's definitely he's definitely good. He's definitely a talented dude, you know. Um most deaf um Caleb Kwali and Dave Chappelle are about to come out with a podcast. That should That's be interesting. An interesting lineup. I definitely want to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shit. All right, you got any more for us, Greg? Uh I do. I do. Um Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Seamus, have you watched it? Uh, only like the first 15 minutes, which seems pretty damn cool. I watched, uh, I mean, I think every Disney show is overrated, so. You can't just have joy in your life, can you, Seamus? Well, Disney obviously could bring so many people joy, but they have to ruin everything. They are turning into quite the monopoly, but I'm fine with it. If I get more Star Wars and more fucking Marvel shit, I'm, I'm cool with that. That being said, you know, I was probably watching 90 Day Fiance Tell All 
when it came out and I probably didn't get to it. All right. Um, but I will, I watched well, a couple episodes and I, you know, I dug it good action. Uh, they had that shady captain America dude that everybody hated. Um, so, you know, I'll probably check it out at some point, finish her up, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really have. Yeah. I like, I like him. Uh, well, I like his, I like him as an actor and everyone hated him. So I kind of like wanted to like him as a character, <laughs> even though he's like, he's supposed to be hated. But yeah, that's uh, Kurt Russell's kid. Who is Anthony Mack? Uh, he's black. Oh, no, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking about Wyatt nice, Russell. <laughs> the last name gives it away. Yes, sir. But yeah, I, I think you guys will dig it. It's it's you'll definitely. I had one division on here for overrated, underrated as well, but I already know how that's gonna go. I also think we already talked about it, Greg. So, right, my one. We said Disney. And also, we said Disney. And also, we said Disney no, Plus. I also told you that the first fifteen minutes of the Falcons, whatever, and the Winter Soldier was better than the whole season of Wandavision. Yeah, we are, we had we talked yeah, about this. That's moving on. That's one false. more, Greg. Yes, PlayStation Five. Ah, fucking overrated. They got fucking three games out. And nobody can buy one, so fuck yeah. PlayStation Five. But we all still want one. I I don't fucking. I'll I'll take one in like two years. Right now, I could give a shit less. What am I? What am I? What am I going to play? Fucking fucking bug snacks. I'm all set. You guys go ahead and have fun with that. I'm going to stick to my current well, gen with games. So if actually, I can get one. I'll, I'll fucking gladly get one. Can I? Can you get me one too, though? For reals. <laughs> I would gladly get one, but I think it's overrated as well because um, they haven't released anything just for the PlayStation Five. Like it's like that game Returnal is coming out soon on April thirtieth, and it looks pretty badass. And that's one of the games I saw on the launch that I wanted to play. But a lot of the games I saw on the launch are still releasing on the four. So like, it's, yeah, what's, what's the has point? any console launched like this where the games are just like vice versa? Really? Um, yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. It's yeah, I don't know. They aren't even much different graphically. Well, it's like yeah, like I played Miles on the, on the four. It was great. They uh, they announced that Resident Evil Village was exclusive to PS five, and then three days later they said it was also for PS four. So uh, they just they can't have exclusives right now. I don't know. I mean, I don't even I don't even know anyone who has one. So. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan? Nice. <laughs> yeah, of course he has like fucking six probably. He's like, I'm a hardcore gamer. And from what I've heard, it's not going to get better anytime in the next year. Like, we can't even find the simple part to fucking make them. There's like a bidding war for this one microchip or... And nobody... We're not going to have them. Like, even Biden fucking announced talking about he's going to investigate this PlayStation shit. It's like, alright. Well, when the president started saying... What's going on with his PlayStation shit, what guys? Do you think they're making a shortage on pur- purposely? Is that what he's insinuating? And then Biden's gonna make, save the day with like PlayStation. He's gonna like try to like win everyone over with like getting them PlayStations. Everybody gets a PlayStation. All right. Well, uh, everyone, uh, you know, big thank you to Greg for the overrated underrated this week. It was uh, uh, mighty exciting, and um, it's great. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I'm going to hit you off with a, another new segment this week. Um, it's called... That's a hot take. Okay, and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some uh, some of the, uh, the biggest food debates known to man and discussing them for your ear canals. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready. All right, great, great, great. All right, boys and girls. <clears throat> Pop tarts or toaster strudels? Pop tarts for show. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm... I don't even know if I've ever had a toaster strudel. <laughs> so I mean, I have to by default go pop tart. Greg? Toaster strudels are good, but I like Pop Tarts better. Oh, God. No way. The only reason Pop. It's too much work. Okay, yes. See, I don't like. 
I don't like a super soft peach or a plum. I like the firm, like more sour ones. So I'm going with pop tart. So if that Seamus, makes any sense. Seamus doesn't like a, a soft peach. He wants a hard pastry. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, still love you, brother. Um, they don't give you enough cream. If they gave you, they gave you enough cream for like one of them, and it's like supposed to be for two of them. It's not fair. How much cream do you need, Captain Diabetes? I need, I need all the oh, cream. Well, uh, toaster enough, strudel. They give you enough. They We're give not- you enough cream to write like your kid's name on it, or make a little heart with an arrow through it, a smiley Fuck face. That. Like that's the beauty of a toaster strudel. All right. I just got double stuffed Oreos, and I'll take two of them, and I'll rip one end off each one and fucking slap them together for a quad fucking Oreo. That's what I'm working with. the worst with. thing I've ever heard. Pillsbury, if you're listening, we need extra cream strudels. Mm, give me that cream. <laughs> we don't need more cream for the toaster strudels, guys. The toaster strudels are perfect the way they are. You get the raspberry cream cheese kind because that's where it's at. All right, wow. Pop-Tarts, they're only good if you're in a rush. Like, I got to go. I got to head they're out. They're way more versatile. Okay, but they're also messy, and there's only a couple good flavors, and they're so dry. I beg to differ. You pick up a, you pick up a toaster strudel, and you pick up a top Pop-Tart. Which one's leaving you messy-fingered? Oh, fucking a toaster strudel. But you can have a firm strudel. A firm toaster yeah, strudel. Yeah, I see you Larry David. Nice. He opened one. He made those hard-ass strudels, right? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure everything's hard for Larry David, so... That's why I love him. Oh, dude. No. No, I shouldn't I mean, if guy. you said cinnamon bun, I did cinnamon bun or a pop tart. Oh, I'm going hot. Cinnamon bun. Bro, I didn't say I disliked. I told you I like toaster strudels. They're good. I just wish they had more cream. I will take that fucking packet and put it on one toaster strudel and enjoy that one. Maybe I as also, much as a fucking, uh, but I go strawberry. I'm not like a crepe guy either. I'm not a big crepe guy. Well, I don't like. I'm not a big crepe guy either, but I'm talking breakfast pastries here, Seamus. Not crepes. Crepes are breakfast breakfast pastries, are they not? Crepe is not a pastry. I'll take that Entenmann's raspberry cake instead. Oh, that shit's the, the raspberry. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. With, with the, <laughs> with the, <laughs> Entenmann's coffee I'll cake one. Cut the middle out. <laughs> the raspberry and with maybe some frosting on the edge. No. I'll eat that shit. I, sh- I might get one of those when I go to the store. All right, so that settles it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, toaster Strudel, the hands-down winner. Thanks a lot for your input, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Strawberry pop. Here we go. Bagel bites or pizza rolls? Seamus? I mean, easy one for me. Pizza rolls are way better. Back in the day, yeah. Uh, I mean, Greg and I used to do some, put down some major bagel bites. I'm sure, for sure, he still is. I kind of grew out of bagel <laughs> bites, but never, never grew out, never grew out of pizza rolls, baby. I'm rolling. You mature. You matured to That's pizza right. rolls. <laughs> I didn't mean grow out like mature style. I just, I just bagel bites just didn't have that same pizzazz they used to. I guess I don't know. I feel like there's no pizzazz to Totino's pizza rolls. They're fuck you. They're bland as shit. <laughs> this wasn't about you. This is about us. Drag it out. You're infiltrating. Yeah, you infiltrating. You infiltrating this game pretty hard. I gotta say, those are little heartburn packets. Fuck those things. It you know you end up either burning your fucking mouth. Or getting way more heartburn right. than you would get from eating a bagel. You bite. give me any iteration of pizza, and I'm gonna burn my mouth. <laughs> I'm not no, waiting for it to cool down. I'm, I'm going for it. Plus, this is a new age of bagel bites. I cook in the air fryer. See, I've never tried delicious. that. I'd like to, but have you had pizza roll in the air fryer? Yeah, I want to try that. Hell as yeah, well. I've had everything in the air fryer. I only cook with the air fryer. If it doesn't fit in my air fryer, I don't want it. I mean, I also don't really have either that often, <laughs> but I mean, now, yeah, I like pizza rolls. I haven't had either one since high school, probably, so I don't know how I'm even weighing in on this. But bagel bites were good. Would- uh, they're both good. Yeah, well, the little bagel bites with the little sausages on them, come on. Oh, I wish they don't make those anymore. See, that's how, they that's still, how they still the game make way. those pizza rolls. Yeah. Just inside. Shit. Combination the combination. combination. I get 
pepperoni, I bagel like pepperoni bites. Ones. Or pepperoni pizza rolls or bagel bites, both. The Uncrustable game has been up, which is disgusting. If you look in the uh, freezer now, there's so many like different Uncrustables. There's like Uncrustable ham and egg and ham or like ham and cheese and like fucking ham roll ups. It's like fucking. All right, well, here's else. a bit of a philosophical question for you then. Are you going to eat that crust if it's Uncrustable? Whoa, it just blew my mind. I know. Wait, what? Well, I was never a baby that needed my mom to cut off the crust, so. The crust is the best part. Mm. Fuck yeah, I mean that crust. Uh, you know, being a poor child, my parents would say, there'd only be the end piece left. I'm like, we used to fight over that when we were kids. It's like, bullshit. And if you did That's fight over that, it was homemade bread just fresh out of the oven. Nobody That's, where the, nu- That's where all the nutrients are at in the crust. Oh, I mean, I, I, I eat crust. I don't give a shit, but I feel like nobody's ever fought over the heel of the bread. <laughs> I always fight over the heel of the bread. Me and my uh, my sisters, we always did. It got violent. <laughs> now I only have one sister. Yeah. No, I have two now. I, had I two. worship the heel of the bread. <laughs> it was from when pigs fly bread, so, you know, it's pretty dank. Sure. Fancy bread. Fancy bread, fancy coffee. I don't even know you anymore. I don't want the hard bread. I want the, the bread right out the oven, that middle piece. Isn't that light? Um, but that being said, I'm, I do like crust. I mean, uh, the bread, I guess I could, I don't know. It holds the sandwich together. If you don't have the crust, it could break easier and rip or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you're transporting your lunchbox and it moves around, your lunchbox falls or whatever, your bread needs to be protected. That crust has an extra layer of protection. And, True. uh, as far as pizza goes, sometimes I, depends on the pizza. Sometimes pizza space to make it a, a stout standing crust and some I'll just leave them on the plate. Ooh, never. I'm always going to eat that crust. Maybe the first one, the second one, then I'm saving room for the the inner, inner, the good pizza bites that first well, bite of that slice. Well, Totino's pizza rolls have no crust, Seamus. If you drop one of them, it'll merely splatter on the floor. A bagel bite will bounce right back up into your hand. See, yeah, you can eat the roll off the floor. You can't eat the bagel bite off the floor if it falls side down. I guess that's what what perk I could see. Astronaut food. And uh, pizza rolls are just the right amount of crust. Yeah, yeah but you don't know what's in there. There could be There's a in hot there. molten magma of cheese and sauce. It's going to burn your fucking shit. Yeah, you hope. That's you why you bite a little, you nibble a little corner off. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a little cockroach baked in. Got in there. Okay, Greg, I don't off. think I don't think like what if you I'm not <laughs> saying the bagel bites factory is like world class here, okay? I'm not it's saying that, any, it, almost it, anything you eat. You, but you can see on top of the bagel so bite. You don't There's have nothing to, to get in there. Shove them in your mouth, you can bite them in half. Look so out. you're saying that nothing could possibly get into a bagel to be baked into a bagel, Greg? Is that what right. you're saying? Never. Bagels are impenetrable. <laughs> No, man, bagel bites are the most um, solid food that can't be fucked with. All right. Bagel well, there's some, for the some hot hot takes on that. All right, last <laughs> And then we're going to bid you adieu. Ooh, I'm going to have an ice cream. Crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? Woo! Greg. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, okay. Um, see... I love them both, but I'm going to go with that crunchy, crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, playa. Extra crunchy. I need that crunch, bro. Got to have that crunch. I mean. I like nuts. I can do either, but I guess I'm just used to going creamy. But now that you're talking about it, it makes me want to try the crunchy next time. Well, I hope you sway your I decision. Think, I think the, the creamy has got to be easier to spread. Yeah, but it's boring. That's why you had jelly. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I've been getting this Teddy peanut butter. Have you seen that? Like it's like Teddy bear peanut butter. I don't it's like, like the shit with the oil on the top. It's yeah, the top. It's, it is we weird. I don't like it, it. It freaks me out every time I open a new one. But once you get in there and roll on, it's fucking delicious. You think so the top of your, most salad dressings, you got to shake them up or mix them up. I don't want to mix up my peanut. And peanut butter is not a mixable it's, thing. Well, it's not, not when like it's crunchy. Just, it's easier to mix up creamy. Get whisk it. If it's crunchy, the nuts are absorbing all that oil, so you don't have to mm. see it. 
Well, no, 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 I like either. I like both. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't have a preference. You I could accept that. If you're making me, I don't know, sandwich, I'll take either. All right. You guys do and fluff? Cut the crust off or leave the crust on. I'm okay. Yeah, I fluffed for like three years before I went to California. Eh, I mean, I could get. Oh, fl- uh, fluff in there? Yeah, yeah. I love fluff. <laughs> fluff. Yeah. And it, again, like, I mean, I can take it or leave it, I guess. I mostly probably would leave it. I can eat it, but yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, put it on my own, I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I'll, I, I, I don't think I've ever wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think grape jelly is an abomination. And uh, I'll eat a raspberry preserve. It's funny you should mention this because I believe I had my first peanut butter and jelly sandwich like three weeks to a month ago. And I'm like, huh, this is actually easy. Like when I'm being lazy for making my lunch at work or I'm out of deli meat or just didn't go shopping. I'm like, this is actually a really good fallback. How are you almost 40 years old and just trying a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the first time? Were you grown in a laboratory? I've always been weird about mixing my shit. I don't like I But they're meant to be mixed. So says you. So says somebody who the fuck wrote the Bible. I don't believe them either. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's a hot take. Yeah, oh, it is a hot I just, take. Never, it just seemed weird to me, and I just jelly was weird to me. It was stick. Maybe I had a bad jelly experience when I was little. I don't know. Don't be jelly. Toast your bread and then spread it, lightly, and then lightly toast your bread lightly, and lightly. put it back in there again and toast it again with the peanut butter and the jelly on I'm top. Try that. I have been toasting my sandwiches lately, because, but like I said, if you over toast it, then your shit's hard and suck. So I used to, you know, when I bring my sandwich to work, you know, actually. One of the guys I used to work with used to call me the sandwich artist because I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I always bring all my separate things in different Tupperware and build it at lunchtime because I didn't like a soggy <laughs> sandwich. sandwich artist. I didn't like a soggy sandwich. I didn't like it all touching all day and having soggy bread. So recently, That's instead smart. of doing that, just very recently, I decided I was just going to put my sandwich together and toast it. And then I put it together and I just throw it in a fucking plastic bag and eat it right out of there. And I need to fucking throw it on a plate, wash my hands, wear bag hands, and put my sandwich together on the job. I just... Nice. Yeah, we call it where I come from, we call that being a grown up. <laughs> um, uh, going to work every day and packing my lunch is being a grown up. <laughs> true enough. True enough. And I, I you know what? Uh, I don't eat it. I don't eat a taco. I don't go out. And eat fast food all day. I make my lunch and I pack lunches and snacks. And I I prep my shit. So that's actually a lot of work and being a girl. Good job, Seamus. <laughs> I like fluffing out of too. And you can put it in your hot cocoa if you don't have marshmallows. No, you can't, Greg. You can. Y- y- I've y- seen you it. Can. <laughs> can you also put it in Rice Krispie treats, Greg, in a pinch? You... Yeah, but it's not. In see you. Same. Why not? I would see you being more. They'd be weird more, ass. They'd be I would like see that being fucking... more the same than putting it in your fucking hot coffee. Same. It's marshmallow. Okay. So what's your yes, argument? So if you're putting in a Rice Krispie treat, how is yeah, it going to change? Yeah, it's going to make it. It's going to be a different consistency, probably. Like it's going to be slightly different. It's not. It doesn't come from the marshmallow root. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Hot takes. Hot takes all day long. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up another fun-filled episode of the uh, You Gonna Eat That Crust podcast. I uh, want to thank you all for listening and tuning in. Uh, please support us on Patreon or anywhere else we can be heard or followed or listened to. Like us on Instagram. I mean Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. Check out our Patreon. And then email us at you gonna eat that crust or gonna eat that crust at gmail.com with some ideas. Some over unders, some would you rather's feedback. Tell us we're horrible people, whatever. Yeah, we're trying. We are. To, we're trying to craft the show for you guys and make it. Uh, you know what you want to hear. Any, so uh, let any us know. tweet, tweets a good tweet. Yep. Damn, that's deep. All right, well, uh, good night, everybody, and uh, in crust we trust. Good night. Ooh. See ya. Peace.